In the world of drawing, there are thousands of different tools at our disposal. It can be overwhelming for beginners to figure out just what exactly they need to get started. From my experience, there are only four tools that anyone really needs in order to make a great graphite drawing. This video will be very brief. That way, you can get a quick refresher and get started on your art as soon as possible. So, what's in this pencil case? Let's find out. Essential tool number one. Of course, it had to be the graphite pencil. While you can use the standard number two pencils most commonly found within a classroom setting, or those pencils readily available at an IKEA store, I recommend upgrading to an art grade graphite pencil. To be or not to be, that is the question. Well, it's not really a question, but my answer. For me, a 2B pencil is my go-to graphite weight for any drawing. It is soft enough to get pretty dark values, but hard enough to get the lighter values too. Essential tool number two, the eraser. 12 seconds later. Ah uh, yes, the tool to fix your mistakes, right? Well, not necessarily. Think of an eraser as a tool that grants you the ability to simply take away graphite. Sure, an eraser can easily hide the evidence that you drew anything, but it can also help you draw anything. I recommend getting a dedicated drawing eraser. I avoid using the erasers on the end of pencils, and I opt for plastic polymer erasers like these. Essential tool number three, the mechanical pencil. The most obvious advantage that mechanical pencils have over their standard pencil counterparts is that they don't need to be sharpened. Mechanical pencils use tiny rods of lead, and when you need more, you just add more. Mechanical pencils come in handy when trying to create uniform lines and fine details. And lastly, essential tool number four, the blending tool. We've talked about drawing lines and erasing lines, but how about blending the lines? I recommend cotton swabs. Chances are, you may already have some laying around, and they work really well for me. Alternatively, you can use paper towels, tissue paper, or even your fingers. You really don't need a lot to get started. Work with what you already have, learn what you like and don't like, and go from there. So, what about you? I only went through a few of my essential drawing tools. Feel free to share some of your favorite tools in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys next time.